commodity traders and investors in the likes of oil and gold also saw positive bull market returns for 2017. For instance, the oil price ended at its highs for the year at $60, whilst gold had a more bumpy ride to end the year at $1,310, up a healthy $160 or 14% on the year, which is in line with my forecast expectations for the precious metal. In fact, gold virtually hit my exact target high price for the year of $1,275 in September before correcting ahead of its end of year rally to $1,310. Whilst those who followed my gold analysis posted on the 4th of December on the Market Oracle website and the 6th of December video would have found themselves buying gold at the very bottom as my video illustrated that I expected the gold price to imminently trend towards a bottom target buying price of $1,125 before trending higher during 2017 to first target $1,375 on break of which would likely continue higher for several more years towards ultimately $1,800. Therefore with little deviation to date then I see no reason to undertake a more in-depth analysis of gold at this point in time. Now back to those gold books throwing in the towel and turning bearish at the bottom. So with little deviation from my forecast of over a year ago, that my long term expectations remain for the gold price to ultimately target a trend to $1800, a trend that is now pending a breakout above $1375. As for what I expect the gold price to do during 2018, then an eventual break above $1,375 should see the gold price target $1,500, an expectation I will come back to in an in-depth analysis of the gold and silver markets in the coming weeks, so ensure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel for notifications of that. And as for the gold miners, well, the GDX remains firmly stuck in a trading range. However, ultimately, I expect GDX to follow the gold price breakout higher. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and all anxiety? For all anxiety, my dear, for all anxiety, we'll take a cup. Yet for all, all anxiety.